punishment. It's a thing some of us enjoy. And that's why some of us enjoy the Skip Barber race car. Though sounding like a hairdresser's refuse point, the Skip Barber is in fact possibly one of the best ways to learn how to drive fast. More direct than a disgruntled pensioner, it will tell you immediately what you've done wrong, and it won't hold back any of those punches. Whether it's a Zimmer frame or an Armco barrier, you will have soon have learnt a healthy degree of respect, and hopefully along the way, learnt how to drive a lot faster. The key to generating fast lap times with the Skip Barber is being smoother on the steering than Sean Connery at a cocktail bar, and whilst being delicate with your hands, the real magic is generated from what you do with your feet. For many people, the Skip Barber is the first car that trains them in the importance of what you do with your lower extremities. Too much throttle and the back end will be coming around. Too little throttle and once again you'll be saying hello to the rear of the car. Just like driving any vehicle, it's about balance and the perfect combination of steering, throttle and the brake. Though perhaps what makes a Skip Barber different is just how clearly it shows where you're going wrong. It has often been said, if you can't learn from the Skip Barber, then you should return to the zoo that you came from. You can click on this link here which will take you to the Skip Barber Going Faster documentary, a fantastic documentary that covers all the basics required to learn how to handle a race car as well as more specific details about the Skip Barber car itself. Should you not have piles of money to burn to drive the real Skip Barber car at the Skip Barber Race School, you can virtually drive this car in either iRacing or R Factor 2. Thank you for watching this video, remember if you enjoyed it click the like button and if you want to see more content don't forget to subscribe to the channel.